going on guys it's sacred <clears throat> gonna make this video quick i was gonna stream but <clears throat> i'm um i got a cold or something and what happened last year during the playoff run in 2017 and then in december of last year as well lost my voice a little bit i'm i'm um, i'm dealing with it it's not as bad it comes and goes which is really weird and I sound really weird, so before anyone asks, that's why at least my voice isn't cracking right now like it was 15 minutes ago. Time to bang out this video. I was gonna, I wanted to make it a stream, but without I'm feeling, it's not gonna happen. So we're just gonna talk Eagles Seahawks. Do I think the Eagles are gonna win this game? No. This is the first time all year that I've said it, and I wouldn't be saying it if I really didn't believe in the way that this team has played the last few months or so I mean just the entire season has been an inconsistent mess we've had some pretty good wins against like the Packers and the Redskins but outside of that it's been a lot of inconsistency and now our defense is doing really well and our offense is starting to struggle injuries are piling up Nelson Aguilar doesn't look like he's gonna play Alshon Jeffrey is still questionable Jordan Howard is still not even cleared for contact in his day-to-day -day, so <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. As far as the offense goes. Defense, I feel like they're going to keep us in the game again. But it's all going to come down to the offense and how they perform. And I don't expect them to do too well. So, that's just me. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, the biggest issue defensively is going to be containing uh, Russell Wilson. Offensively, if the Eagles can actually run the ball and stick with it. And actually build momentum off of running the ball. <clears throat> then they could probably win or at least have a better chance of winning this game that's that's the fact of the matter but they don't and right now Jordan Matthews JJ Athergo Whiteside and Mac Hollins are our three healthy wide receivers that's it and then whoever the hell else is on practice squad this team is not in a good state right now offensively and at the end of the day it's going to show and we're most likely going to lose on Sunday so let me know what you guys think I'm going to stop talking because my throat is actually starting to hurt a little bit more now. Um, and I'm getting congested. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. Hopefully I'll be feeling better. And I'll stream for you guys then. Fly goes fly. Have a good night.